All right, guys. We've got Lost All Faith by Ren. Um, yesterday, I just did Ready For You. That was pretty powerful. Um, I had to pause it a lot just because I'm, I'm very passionate about a lot of the topics he was talking about in that one. But we're here, Lost All Faith. So let's see what Ren's got for us. Here we go. I, I, you, 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 mate, I'm in a bit of a rush right now. You're a sick guy. Oh, thanks, mate. I've, I've, yeah, you're sick, boy. I've, I've got to get a train, mate. I'm really sorry. Yeah, no, I'm to you, man. Hey, can I get a quick picture, mate? Oh, nah, mate, I've got to go, mate. Oh, just a little cheeky little picture, but I've really got to go, mate. I'm sorry, mate. Nah, 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 come on, come on. Right, come on, right, fine, quickly. I knew it was you, I knew it was you. Oi, I'm a charming fella. I like drinking cans of Stella. See, I'm living for the weekend. Back to back to Salmonella. Cinderella story racks to bitches. I'm living for the weekend, like kebabs with sal salmonella. A week end? Is that what he's saying? Like there's a week ending to the ke what? Let me rewind it, guys. I'm curious. Only joking, I'm an introvert Alone inside my room because my insides hurt I contemplate existence with consistence in my polo shirt Then reassert my confidence with compliments I don't deserve I calm my nerves by plotting for the day that I might leave this earth Dude, he reasserts his confidence with compliments that he doesn't deserve That's interesting, man So he's saying he kind of gets beaten down And then he hits a point and he's like you know, he, he thinks about the compliments that, that he got from people, which he believes he doesn't deserve, but he kind of hypes himself up, and then he's able to get back to it, it sounds like. My confidence with compliments I don't deserve. I calm my nerves by plotting the day that I might leave this earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Pain is my shepherd, my sword and my shield. I find my refuge in patience and pills. A patient that's patiently waiting for help. Mm. So that that's a reference to um well you could say Nina Simone's blood on the leaves or um uh or sorry strange fruit not blood on the leaves but Kanye West's blood on the leaves and then Nina Simone's strange fruit um which is actually a beautiful song um I mean a stunning voice if you guys don't know shame on you go check out Nina Simone um strange fruit um incredibly powerful song and then when you realize what it's about um you know, it's it's pretty shocking, and, and um, it gives you kind of a damned feeling. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously he's saying that he's experiencing kind of a, a similar pain, it sounds like. Um, or at least that's an allusion to um, Strange Fruit and then Kanye West Blood on the Leaves. So here we go. There's blood on the leaves where I fell, coming down. Burn the border, sons and daughters, So I'm going to find out here through the rest of the song what exactly he's talking about, but it sounds like he's talking about, um, I mean, how long ago was this? So this lyric video is four months ago, and this was off of Sick Boy, so it sounds, oh shoot. So it sounds like he is, oh, did I just do that, guys? I'm sorry. Um, he's alluding to Donald Trump is what it sounds like. Um, you know, obviously the border is a bit, uh, you guys tell me i mean i know in the uk you guys have a very um th that's a big issue in the uk especially because um and and france i mean europe in general because um you know people have come from terrorist groups and they have i mean just legitimately attempted to slaughter westerners um in in britain and france um you know essentially the uh countries that um you know are, are big in nato and and that had deployed troops to those those regions um in iran iraq afghanistan um so it sounds like that it might be an illusion of that but i won't bang on too much about it let's keep going here Dude, I, I like that. Like, Ren hits so many different moods in a single song. I mean, he, he starts out confident, then he goes, no, really, I'm an introvert, and it's kind of, like, slow and depressed, and then he goes, 
um, I've lost all my faith and it's kind of like, you know, do like it, it's very dooming. And then he goes to like, I'm, you know, I'm Art and Mona Lisa. I, I make her, you know, moan. She whatever needs my meat or whatever. I'm going to rewind it. But Red, Red Man, he's, I like that he switches up. He doesn't just switch up the flow. It's one thing to switch up the flow in a song, but to completely switch the mood um, of the song and, and completely switch the way the listener is interacting with the music is a huge thing for me. Halitosis, you guys let me know. You always do in the comments. I do read most of the comments. Uh, let me know what halitosis is. I don't know what that means. Hang on, man. Hang on. So, I, another thing I love about Ren is the duality within his music. I mean, he has this this overconfident, you know, I'll oh, make her moan, like, you know, who's the G? And then, you know, on the on the flip end, he's got a really insecure introvert who deals with, um, you know, a lot of mental and physical health problems. Um, I really do like to see the duality because it's it's really um, it's indicative of every human. Um, every human has the capacity to do great evil. And that same human has the capacity to do great good. Like Ren could go completely commercial and make mu like popular music that is completely commercialized and talk about guns drugs uh you know you know misogyny like all, all the popular topics in commercial rap and he would probably sell a lot i mean he would lose a lot of fans initially in my opinion he would lose me as a fan if he did that um but point being is like his, his the way he communicates through art is incredible he could use that same ability for bad you know and that's that's what every human is like so let's keep going here guys prism life and shot the iris of the land make believe and play pretend god's my witness at the end with god as my witness i walk through the valley of the shadow of sickness mm. i fear no evil i need no forgiveness deliver me from temptation he never listens i don't ever seem to feel well so those are all i i'm i'm pausing it guys sorry um uh, those are all biblical references. You know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I, sure, I shall fear, fear no evil. Um, what is it? He, you know, guides me, his rod and his staff. He, you know, referring to a shepherd, God being the shepherd. Um, I, that's another thing I like because I, I grew up in, um, in, a, in, a ch in a church. I was raised in the church and, you know, I got away from that when I got older. Um, you know, about the age of 15, 16 is really when I really kind of started to become disillusioned um, with it. Um, and so I, I catch a lot of those references. Now, I do find that I, I do try, you know, I didn't try to do this, but I noticed that over time, I do have a lot of um, like Christian values in that, like, try to treat others with respect, um, like, like be a decent human being, um, you know, don't talk to behind people's backs. If you're going to say something, say it to their face. If you're, you know, if you're going to be a total dick, it's probably just best to not say anything at all. You know, just the basic, um, now I'm not perfect, man. I, I am a, I am a sinning sinner. So I'm not, you know, I'm not religious. I'm not a Christian or nothing, but, um, I do enjoy those references because as a literary piece, the Bible is an incredible, um, source for poetry. I mean, you look at the Proverbs, there's a lot of wisdom. I don't care if, if you, I don't care if you hate Christians, Christianity, hate the Bible. I don't care. Go read Proverbs, incredible poetry and a lot of wisdom in it. Um, you know, whether it came from God, I'm not here to debate, but, um, I definitely like the biblical references, I guess is, is where I'm going with it here. He never listened.
yeah, so... I'm gonna talk a little bit at the end about this. I'm pretty sure that's the end here. Feel free to skip to the end. I lift up my eyes to the hill. Pain is my shattered, my sword and my shield. I find my refuge in patience and pill. Interesting, man. So it kind of sounds like he's going into his experience through his illness, which physical illness has an effect on the mind like anytime you have like if you stub your toe um i believe you're going to have a major spike in cortisol a stress hormone um and you know if you like some people you can stub your toe and then there is actually uh, is it is it cortisol or i believe also maybe inflammatory cytokine uh, cytokines but um essentially in inflammatory um brain chemicals will appear after you experience some kind of physical pain and so there's a huge um mental aspect to physical pain as well um and obviously you know he, he mentions a few drugs there i didn't hear mention any painkillers but um you know mostly sleep and anxiety pills um uh, so it sounds like he's kind of just walking us through the little little journey where he you know He gets pumped up he gets confident and then he's like well actually I'm just I'm I'm really kind of a scared person uh, Life's really beat me down and I deal with all these different things and then so it goes back and forth between that and then um, It goes confident broken down and then the hook where he says I've lost all faith um, And I'm not really sure what to make of the hook honestly. I mean You've got the, you know, burn down the border, sons and daughters, law and order. Um, now, law and order was a big thing that, you know, I can't help. I, I do. I used to follow. I shouldn't say I do now. I'm out of it now. But I used to follow a good amount of politics. And that was one of the, the big things that Donald Trump had said was, um, you know, during the uh, BLM protests um, or B BLM um what whatever you guys know what i'm talking about but he said law and order there needs to be law and order and then obviously like the border was a big thing where trump was like we really need a border and so you know ren saying break down the border sons and daughters and then crave disorder um which that is that is one of the biggest like we could get into the i, I don't really like to talk politics on the uh channel we could get into the nitty gritty, but one of the biggest things I dislike about Donald Trump is just the divisiveness. The the, I, I mean, he's well, he did something recently where he's like dissing Robert De Niro on Twitter or something, and it's, it's just like all of the divisiveness. Now, there like it seems like there are a good amount of people who like Trump and they actually like that about him. They're actually huge fans of that that he'll talk shit to anyone and he'll just say these off the wall create like you know the everyone knows the whole mexicans are rapists um i'm not gonna bang on too much about it you know i'm, I'm trying to do my best to keep politics off the channel um just because I'm, I'm more interested in connecting with people than finding the little tiny thing we disagree with on like i i would much rather connect with people over music like like ren's Ren's music, um, as opposed to finding something that's incredibly divisive. So, um, yeah, I mean, very interesting. I'm not sure what to make of the hook, but it does sound like it goes confident, broken down, and then he's lost all faith. And for me, that's that's a similar cycle to where when I'm confident and I get knocked down, I know that I have to, like, right when I get knocked down, I have to immediately, like, I have to do something to get myself back to confidence. Um, and get my self-respect back up or I'm if you stay in that you know kind of like um, anxious depressed mindset too long that becomes your norm and then you do end up in the lost all faith mode so for me personally it's a huge thing to um, it's a huge thing to once I get knocked down into that like man you know like that I just had an interaction and I felt terrible. I was really anxious. I, I stuttered like 700 times or that reaction I did, I stuttered like 700 times or whatever it was, or I completely missed that line. I know I have to get like address it immediately. Um, cause my cycle is 
this similar to Ren's and, and a lot of people. And so I've realized I got to attack it right away when I get knocked down and, and figure out a way to get get myself out of it immediately. Because otherwise, once you stay in that for a long period, that's when it really becomes entrenched. Like you become entrenched in that position and you you it's so much harder to get out of. So I'll wrap this one up, guys. I won't bang on too much about it. But um, man, I, I like Ren's discography. So you guys take care, stay safe. Um, and yeah, take care of your loved ones wherever you're watching the video from. Thank you.